students we will continue with the the white led part okay then rush by the will uh, share the slide yeah we stopped at this point uh, so conventional uh, conventional method of rg method is uh, the mixing of uh, red green and blue light we discussed the uh, uh, so rgb mixing of white light for uh, uh, this virtually all television that is crt displays anywhere use 3 is to 6 is to 1 that is uh, red is to green is to blue ratio is this one but this is not applicable not guaranteed for uh, led based lighting applications so what you have to do so red blue green uh, that is used in uh, uh, tv applications we studied uh, the 3 is to 6 is to 1 so uh, so for a uh, spectral characteristic of led primarily determined by, by the junction structure with emission tuned to a primary wavelength during the manufacturing process. So we need to have a new ratio of uh, these primary colors are needed for LED lighting, white LED lighting, okay? So LED current and mixing ratios, a true uh, white light uh, achieve accurate color in solid state replace. So the drive current, because LED, uh, normal LED, the current's requirement is in the order of uh, uh, 20 to 30 milliampere and the voltage is uh, 3 to 4 volt, right? Uh, so typical drive current uh, requirement for um, these emitters, uh, 8.0 milliampere for red and 10.5 milliampere for green and 4.0 milliampere for blue color LEDs. Corresponding speed uh, estimated uh, this ratio of uh, red color is to green color is to blue ratio is, is equal to 4.1 is to 10.6 is to 1. You might be some confusion here might be here. 8.8 .8 corresponding to 4.1 and 10.5 is exactly almost same and 4.2 comes to 1. So uh, if you want uh, this is uh, examination point of view, uh, uh, not uh, 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 no need to explain here. If you are interested, you can go to this ledmagazine.com. They will explain everything clearly. Uh, if you want to know more about this, how to reach this ratio, you can go this one, okay? So what we are going, this is examination point of view, very, very important, the phosphor method of temperating white light. So what it is doing is blue emitting LED. That is made up of Indian gallium nitrate, Indian gallium nitrate coupled with the yellow phosphor powder. So yellow phosphor powder is, it is called YAG, YAG, okay? Yttrium aluminum garnet doped with the cerium, CE plus. Normally it is uh, written as YAG hyphen CE plus, okay? So blue LED with the yellow phosphor that generate white light. So very, very important in examination point of view. So in this design referred as, uh, this is called phosphor method of uh, LED generation, phosphor converted LED, okay? So the blue light, so we have using blue LED excite the phosphor powder, which usually encapsulated in the outer casting. So this is a glass, uh, so the, uh, the yellow powder is encapsulated here. So the blue LED comes here and they excite this yellow phosphor and produce white light, okay? The uh, light emitted by yellow phosphor combined with the blue light emitted LED to produce white light. So the light emitted by yellow phosphor and it's combined with blue light uh, emitted by LED. So the in simple words, blue LED plus Yagi, Yagi is uh, explained here, powder gives the white LED output, okay? So examination point of view, you have to draw this one, okay? So it is uh, in a single chip, you can use, uh, there is a glove is here. So here it is blue LED and uh, phos or yellow phosphor. So this uh, blue LED excites this yellow phosphor and generate this white light, okay? So we uh, we, will, we already seen the last class, the, the, yellow, uh, the white light is coming here, right? Around here. So what is happening is there the total spectrum, this is uh, blue LED spectrum is here and the yellow spectrum is here. So what when mixing of these two, we will get a spectrum like here. So that is uh, the entire visible region, you will get the spectrum. But uh, I is, our human eye is not able to differentiate with the intensity of this one and the intensity of this one. So the neutrons, uh, the ringing uh, rings, uh, when it is moving at a very high speed, we will see only a white light, right? A white, uh, the rings uh, uh, appear as white, right? Similarly, uh, here, even though it is spectrum is uh, varying intensity, what we are going to see is that uh, we will see only the white light that is uh, shown in white color, okay? 
so this figure is very very important examination point of view this is as well another figure is for uh, uh, more interesting and very easy to understand this is a blue led it emits light and is excite the yellow phosphor and produce white light so what is the main problem is that uh, this is very easy step and very easy to make white leds uh, high cri uh, is there uh, broad emission spectra emission spectra i already shown the last slide so how are the degradation of phosphor during long period of optical pumping would deteriorate the output efficiency so output efficiency uh, coming down when after the using uh, long usage of this uh, white led okay using phosphor uh, so that is one of the disadvantage so either you can use this figure but this figure is mandatory for any of your answers okay so a uh, blue uh, spike, uh, spike is there then a low spike uh, combination so you can uh, make a you know, average intensities like this uh, that is uh, covering entire uh, the visible region so entire visible region means it is white light okay so generator white light using dichromatic sources so dichromatic sources means dichromatic means lighter dichromatic means two lights so you can use blue led and yellow led and combining these two you will get a, a white light okay dichromatic source is most efficient way to create light so white light generation two complementary wavelengths so two complementary wavelengths one is blue wavelength other one is yellow wavelength okay so blue and yellow leds or we can use uh, uv led ultraviolet led plus that excite triphosphor another phosphor is called a triphosphor so ultraviolet led uh, excite triphosphor that also uh, comes under dichromatic uh, method of generating white led luminous efficacy is more than uh, greater than 400 lumens for what so how much uh, electric power is uh, uh, required for generating this much uh, uh, light intensity light intensity is uh, represented by lumen right so that is called a luminous efficacy so low cri is here unsuitable for illumination but it can be used for uh, this traffic signal display in uh, personal detail accessories uh, so the fundamental trade off here is CRI and luminous efficacy, but CRI increases, uh, luminous efficacy decreases, or uh, the vice versa. So this is a problem with the uh, generation dichromatic sources. Uh, already I had shown that this were also uh, has been near a university examination. Okay, trichromatic LED white sources we will discuss in the coming classes. Thank you.